Hi and welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. It seems like it's only been a week. I think it was a week. But it's not a happy Friday. It was a sad Friday um, with uh, remembrance to um, my friends and colleagues over the pond uh, to do with 9-11. And, um, you know, I decided not to do a video for that day. Um, as we probably all do with new people. Um, it was a mixed mind, really. Should I do a video? Because why should we let other people dictate our happiness um, but we're not going to go into that today um, today is a Sunday Shh. everybody's asleep they're not asleep they're just awake because I'm awake everyone else has to be awake <laughs> now today's video is about as you saw it is making missiles um, uh, that's going to look like this a little close up there if I can look there there you go 3D printed missiles, or bombs should I say, for the A6 Intruder. Um, now, printing these and spraying them, finishing them and everything, took longer than a half hour video. In fact, this is gonna be a really short video um, in the way of building, because that's how I made it, because otherwise it'd be about a year long, episodes one to a hundred. And I'm sure you'd be really upset by them. So, less natter, less sad, be happy, be positive. How do I start this? You see, I've been 3D printing when I can, and then yesterday was about gluing together, filling the holes with special plastic putty. Yesterday was all about priming, sanding, and then using my spray gun with my little compressor. Now I made <laughs> lots of photographs. So each time I had done something, I took a picture. So I printed something to take a picture. And, you know, I had it stacking up and thought of a nice little movie to show you guys and girls. And yesterday I collated it all together. Lots and lots of pictures. Added some fun music. Um, and it must have been a world record because it was the shortest video I've ever done. And this morning I was going to make the introduction and the end. Um, thought brilliant. So I put the SD card, which is the little memory card, formatted it as I normally do, so it's a nice clean, just in case I waffle on. And I went back to the computer, and this come up. What does this mean, you say? This means that I didn't save my folder to my desktop before making a movie. Which means I was running off the SD card to make the movie. Which then also means I formatted the card with all the pictures on. Yeah. So that was a huge waste of time. And I'm really sorry because it showed you all my techniques of spraying, especially if you can see this, the blue stripe. I used a balloon. A balloon, you're saying? Yes. So maybe we'll, I'll make some more bombs, maybe. <laughs> Enough of that. It is what it is. It is what it happened, and it has happened. But that's okay. This is what comments are for. You can leave a comment and is there anything you want to know about how to make the A6 Intruder bomb set? Then please fill a comment and I will get back to you. Um, I'm going to feel sorry for myself probably for a few hours. <laughs> but hey, I'll get over it. So let me just show you a few things. So this is what you wouldn't have seen. Uh, well, you wouldn't have seen it. This is how I made. It's going to be bright and I'm sorry. But if you can see here, here. I've got two earth magnets, earth magnets, and they are glued in there, and 
I have got then, you got a bit of paint on them, I can scrape it off, but then I've got two earth magnets, if you can see that, if I bring it round actually, just to make sure it's in shot, I've got two earth magnets in there. So obviously these are the M Mark 80 bombs here, um, which you can see uh, if you Google it, whatever, and it's got a grey back, olive green, and then a blue, a blue stripe. They're not um, best matching colours, but it's all I could get from the local um, from the local store um, to to make the movie. Now here is what all the um, print offs looked like when I printed them. As you can see, there's a different rail there. This is the this is the rail you get with the uh, download that you go to um, uh, to Thingiverse and the gentleman that's made all these. Um, I can't think of his name off off my head, but I will leave a link in the description if you want this set. Um, that is what you got. Now, obviously, if you can't, if you look at, uh, sorry, if you look at this, this is my design, the new design of the rail. Um, the reason for this was because when I printed off the other rail and looked at it at the wing, um, so I come back to my sad face. Is there a tear there somewhere? Maybe I don't know. But <laughs> um, the reason I did that is because. It, it, I don't know it's my filament but it just when I pushed it on and that it broke it was I'm a bit worried about it so I just sat down and I had a think I thought well if I make the actual rail a bit smaller so it's not so high up on the wing and then put some earth magnets earth magnets which are fantastic um, you can just just take them on and off if you want to so if you can see that the I mean it's pretty solid it really is solid and it does look sexy I mean, with that flying through the air, whoosh, I'm all about aesthetics, you know that. As I say, I've been filling in here as well. I need to get the right colour paint. I've got to order some uh, to match this. I, I was hoping to have black and white and mix it up until I got the right colour, but I haven't got that. And I've still got a bit of rubbing down to do on there. But it's such a shame that... that oh. <laughs> yeah, so we've got two sets. It's such a shame that you missed... Well, you've missed out on what I took loads and loads of pictures of because it's quite quite a, a lengthy process um, and if I'd done it sort of live um, or, or recorded me doing it, it would have been a long long video even if it was sort of done it at triple speed so I thought by taking pictures of each step um, if you want to make these then you know what to do um, and if you don't then it's just going to be a quick video for you so I'm really sorry about that apologies and I really such a dumbass. <laughs> I really am a dumbass. I always drag the folder of the SD card onto my desktop so I can take out the SD card. For some reason last night I didn't. It is what it is, I guess. But anyway, so we have finally made these. I was uh, have these floating about the hangar for quite a while and I thought, you know what? Let's let's spend the day potting around, getting out, doing some spray work with the, the compressor and the air gun, which I find really kind of cool. I used a balloon to get these rings on here. Um, not the best. That one's a bit weak. This one's not too bad. Uh, basically, on here is that the way you sprayed is that you spray the lightest first. So I sprayed the light grey, then I sprayed sprayed <laughs> in blue. Um, and then I mask the edge, and it's really hard to mask on a chamfered edge or a curved edge, whatever you'd like to call that. If it was on the, like, the middle, it's, it, it, it is, but trying to mask off there was, was an arse. But I masked off here, and, it, and say the pictures are gone, I'm still annoyed. And then I sprayed the olive. And once that was dry, I thought, well, how am I going to spray the end olive? Because trying to mask off that edge is impossible. Um, I even used like line tape there. And the way I did it was I got a balloon, I cut the, the balloon end off, and then you got the end up, you know, you blow with, put it on the shaft. <laughs> yes, it looked as rude as it sounds. Put it on here so you've got the, the, the blowy bit here, and then pulled it to the edge. So what that does, that gives a seal around there, so paint can't get any further. So, and then spray the end, and then pull the balloon off, and you get a perfect line. Now, some of them are not so perfect, but that's because maybe they're masking, I did in the first place it's really hard to try and get a, a right circle it's almost like I needed a um, like a, a funnel you know cut the end of so it's round to put it over like a collar 
um, to push it over here then spray so you get the blue edge that way and then the other way you use the balloon technique um, try it. it it works I mean there you go there's living proof so yeah so a, a very very quick movie because I'm a stupid ass but oh that's the ah <laughs> little thing I meant I ran out of earth magnets and I didn't put the other earth magnets in the other wing which I'm so happy I didn't because on this bomb set I've got the magnets the wrong way around so when you try and glue to put it on there it's pushing me away <laughs> this one obviously I did Ba -boop. that's why that other one wouldn't go in I think why is that not going in so but as long as when I get my other earth magnets I've ordered I put them in there and I make sure I've got the polarity the right way around that will stick to the other wing and obviously this one is pretty good um, as weight wise does it add a lot of weight not really I haven't got scales it does have add a little bit of weight um, but as you know uh, next year uh, next year will be my dad's RC hanger fly every plane possible uh, made in made in heaven um, so we'll find out and if it does be a bit of arse in the air then we can just take them off but it's just basically what free wing do anyway they just put their magnets so it snaps into place and I've just done the same thing so um, the next movie that I will save to the desktop uh, will be the electronics now I've got some really cool electronics for all the LEDs that I want you to see um, I was really surprised that, uh, that, that they existed, but they do. Um, so we're going to have a little food around there, and then this is done. She will be built with all the LED mods. Um, I've been doing other bits and pieces with LEDs, including the landing gear. Um, as we did on a live show, I said, if you want me to see me make it, then do so. And no one commented, so I just plodded along off camera, uh, putting all the rest of the lighting in, which you will see. Uh, once it's, she's all fired up so she's going to look good in the air um, with the proper lighting and everything else just quickly as well what I found out but look when I was looking for the bombs because these are a mark 80 um, which look the same as a mark 80 the 82 80 mark 83 4 they don't have this ridge so I tried to keep it as as looking as real as I did could um, but also while I was looking at this that the rail this rail also has uh, an anti-collision light uh, a flashing red light i don't know what it is about this plane but it must be very secretive how many lights they've got um or they just changed it as they moved on i don't know but i'm not going to put one in there um if i'd have known that then i would have three printed it 3d printed a hole inside so i could run a cable uh, maybe come out there so when it magnets on you've also got the cable but maybe maybe another day maybe we'll print some more bombs interchangeable uh, and just do my own take on my bombs and call it the dad's RZ hanger bomb from hell so me being a silly ass that would be it for today um, so until next week be safe if you can keep flying and thanks for popping by um, have a fun day see you now bye bye